Musically speaking. Musically speaking. Musically speaking. Today we are discussing Reggae Sumfest. You know, that comes to life as of today. One week of activity in the second city, Montego Bay. And we'll be talking to people who are close to the festival today, including the man at the helm, Joseph Bogdanovich, and one of the prime movers of this event, Cordell Scatter Burrell. So we'll be looking at the history, the future, and the present of Reggae Sumfest. Now, Reggae Sumfest is about 30 years old it's this year and there's much planned for this edition the 2023 version of reggae Sumfest. so we will be talking with joe and company to find out what they have planned for this year of course you've heard about marion hall and she is one of the featured acts on the event, of course, the captain of the big ship, Freddie McGregor, will be there. Uh, he's recuperating, but no doubt he will deliver a knockout performance. And the king will be coming to the place of his birth, King James. We're talking King Jammy, and he'll be coming back to St. James, his birthplace. So there's a lot in store this year for Reggae Sumfest, and we are going to be talking about some of them because, you know, it is a major festival in Jamaica. It generates a significant amount of revenue, both from the tourist end and from local business. So it is something that is vital to the economy of Montego Bay and to the general uh economy of jamaica so without much more to say i'm going to invite joseph bogdanovich uh to say a few words now joe so we're here for Sumfest 2023 what is different about Sumfest 2023 from the others can you tell me Yes, Joe. We're not finding Joe yet. Where, where, where is Joe? Ah, uh, is Scatter there? Because we're trying to find what's the difference this year with Sumfest and the previous years. Is there any difference? What is what is what what should we be looking for this year? Last year, I know there was that big tribute to Dave Kelly. That was fabulous. What do we have this year? What do we have that's different? I think Joseph Bogdanovich is now here with us. Joe, how are you? I'm good here. You know, it's the, the, the festival started a few hours ago there at the community center there at, at the stadium. It looks fabulous. Uh, people are already there uh, for the community and for children and for grown-ups and games and bounce of bounces and good music and it looks fantastic. Looks fantastic. So there is a week of activity starting yeah. today and ending on what, Sunday or Saturday? Well, Sunday morning. Sunday morning with um, with Marion Hall closing it out. I'm I'm sure that she's going to be welcoming all of us to transformation. So she's the closer. Marion Hall is the closer. She is. Yeah. Reggae Sumfest 2023. What 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 a, what a climax that is. <laughs> oh my gosh! You know, it's really this one, Clyde. Is this 23, 2023 staging the 30th? anniversary it just it has so much dimension to it that we've never seen that only comes after 30 years i guess and i feel so privileged to be a part of the journey 
because it's a lot of hard work, as you know, and the kind of expansion that's happened with Reggae Sumfest since the last seven years is exponential and really, really good, you know, for the country and for the for the music. And I feel elated just to be here celebrating the 30th. Well, the look of the show is is yeah. certainly first class. The lighting and the sound uh, that is first rate, and uh, clearly there is a lot of investment that has been made in that kind of infrastructure. Mm -hmm. uh, but but I I heard you say, Joe, and I I, I I I stand corrected. You said that you might be shifting from all reggae acts for next year. Is that what you said? Well. What I, what was said in context was that, you know, to keep everything fresh and not repeating the same acts over and over again, and certainly in 23, uh, this we definitely have very few of the same acts on this year's staging. But, you know, it's a real challenge to keep it interesting. And I feel really, really good because tickets are selling and they, they're, they're really not asking, really a lot of people are not asking who... Who's on the show? They're just coming from abroad and from It's a everywhere. big festival. I mean, I, I think it, yeah. it it has almost reached the point where it doesn't matter who's on the show. It's some fest. And that's that 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 is supposed to be where it is. Well, I can tell you this. It is some fest, and each year we raise the, the, the bar. We try to raise the bar and we succeed at it. And we have a very good team, you know, a very active, devoted team that that loves the music that loves, you know, what we do at Reggae Sumfest. And I must say, I couldn't do it without this very, very strong, patient team. <laughs> yeah, because I know you spend a lot of time uh, putting this together. Uh, you meet regularly and you you yeah. uh, cross all the T's and dot all the I's to ensure that it, it runs smoothly. Well, you know, you have to do that. And, you know, it's called the real key is communication. And I think in, in this, the kind of perspective we see in the international world that we live in, uh, things are really out of balance and things are really being pushed to the edge in terms of warfare, A and B, in terms of technology and currency and just it's such a wonderful world a wonderful world to it's a wonderful wonderful world jimmy jimmy who's you're sounding like louis armstrong <laughs> well i um soon if i stay out in the sun i'll probably look like <laughs> yeah it's hot as I, I, I know i know you won't blow your own trumpet <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right so, yeah yeah it's no. looking good no, no, no. I know it takes quite a bit, Joe, to bring the the site on which the festival is staged up to speed for 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 the event. Uh, this is an annual ritual. Um, but but do I understand that there is supposed to be a move afoot to have a permanent site there uh, at, at Catherine Hall? Well, you know, we were we were rewarded the RFP, you know, a number of years ago by the government, and um, and we're working, still working out some some very important details of that obligation. And as far as I can see, it, it looks um, that we're going to be in possession soon, and be able to turn this this venue that we do with Reggae Sumfest once a year into um, multiple big international concerts and local concerts uh, to to Catherine Hall and to Montego Bay and in turn to the world. So so so, so the plan is this this will not just be the home for some fest, but for other festivals as well. Absolutely. And to other promoters, too. And to other promoters. Mm -hmm. Great. No, I mean it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful location, and uh, and certainly you are able to do wonderful things to the venue every year. But you know, I I, I figure, you know, this kind of ritual it, it it might be a bit frustrating doing it every year rather than having it as a turnkey, <laughs> turnkey operation. Oh, yeah, yeah, 
You, you know, Clyde, I have a lot of patience. And, uh, you know, if you don't have patience, you uh, you just don't get on base. <laughs> right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you have other plans, I, I mean, for, for, for the venue outside of the... the... Absolutely. We have, we, have a, we have plans written down and confirmed and ready to execute. It's just a question of closing the deal. And hopefully, um, you know, hopefully everyone will see just again just how how good and important this this festival is and how much joy it brings to the people and actually you know how many people that work on that festival is over hundreds of people working on it and uh probably close to two thousand and um montegonians mostly all of them and you know they put their children through school based on what they earn and even the people that are working outside of the festival the vendors the the peanut man, there's everybody. So um, there's a lot at stake with Reggae Sumfest, you know, generating the kind of activity in Montego Bay. Mm -hmm. uh, you talk about generating activity, uh, and I see quite a bit of sponsors logging on to Sumfest this mm -hmm. year. Uh, are you satisfied with the level of support you have received uh, for the festival? You know, um, it's interesting. We couldn't do it without the sponsors, no question about it. And the reason why we couldn't do it without them, because the, the standard that we achieve at Reggae Sumfest is second to none in league with the best in the world, like the Coachellas and the AEGs and the ones in Europe. It's um, We bring more people, more eyeballs to the Reggae Sumfest and to reggae music and dance hall music and to the clash and to the various pre-events that we have uh, than anyone else in the business. And that's millions of people every year. And that's a great thing for reggae, uh, for the country. And it's being recognized, you know, it's being recognized now, not only by the sponsors that are, you know, we increased from 60, mm, 48 sponsors, I think it was. I'm a little lost on the number from last year. But it's, it's up to uh, up to 63 this year. It's a significant increase. And the sponsors are, you know, they're very enthusiastic. They want to be, you know, aligned with, with reggae music and reggae sumfest and and what we do. And what we do is it's a safe, it's a safe festival. We never have any problems on that, thank God, line. Uh, the uh, entertainment is second to none, uh, and it, it flows, and people have a great time. People come from all over the world, and it's just great to see so much joy come from the performances and just the whole layout, you know, with three different food courts. Of course, the Grace Food Court is the biggest one at the back of the venue, and the food is fabulous. It's a real big attraction. And now we have the merchandise mall, and that's doing well to show really the best um, of you know independent uh, product being taken to the to the to the public here at Reggae Sumfest. Well, it's just a big, big, big endeavor, and it's it's family oriented, you know. And and we all here on this island are you know I depend on everybody that's involved in the company in the not only the company but the people that are involved including journalists like yourself and and the radio and television of course all of the influencers and bloggers and s social media that just you know clamor to be involved in this production and it's it's a big responsibility and it's it's uh, it's um it's a big 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 production Mm -hmm. uh, I see uh, Caribbean Airlines being prominently uh, positioned as a sponsor this year. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about that. Well, um, you know, one thing is, is and which is another first, and it's the second time we've done it with, with Caribbean, is they put our logo on the plane, on, outside of the plane. Uh -huh. And this year, it's gotten bigger. The logo is bigger on this airplane that flies all through the Caribbean and into the United States. And there's a number of them. It's just not one. And if when things go well again this year, I wouldn't be surprised if Caribbean Airlines just puts the whole reggae fest 
uh, whole reggae some fest festival completely on the plane all over the plane one of those planes that just looks like reggae some fest through the skies it's you know you never know you, you're satisfied with the support you've gotten certainly from caribbean airlines and uh maybe the other sponsors then that that that's what oh the, the, there you know when you can when you can get sponsors to cooperate with one another and like how we try to keep all yeah, the you're always artists, competing for real estate yeah how to get all the the artists to cooperate with one another as a unity you know it's as a we go as opposed to an ego there's nothing short of magic clyde to do mm -hmm. that and i feel good about it so it's smooth sailing you're saying uh come well it starts today but come friday and saturday night it's going to be just a walk in the park well we're four days ahead of schedule in, at the venue at catherine hall mm -hmm. and we are in various uh locations you know the stadium area for today's um um picnic commitment to the to the community uh which is the community fest and then tomorrow is is the free the free dance in the city and that's always very well attended and and it's a give back to all the people and companies in montego bay that's given us so much support in the last 30 years we couldn't do it without them and it's a give back to the community and that's a good thing and then on Tuesday we have the 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 all white, uh, which is the all white party at Pier One, and that's always very very big. And and now and thank God they've expanded their venue, so they have closer to fifteen hundred people that can fit in there, and it's right on the sea. So that's always very well attended and always looks very good because the ladies look good. They're nice and they're all dressed up, and they got a lot of different all dressed in white and everything that's 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 on tuesday and then wednesday wednesday is the you know the blitz which is the all black fashion event and that takes place on wednesday at harbor city uh harbor city mall i guess they call it it's a new venue for us and um that'll be completely different in look and everything and it's always very very exciting to be there so everybody's dressed up and it's a fashion kind of thing and then on Thursday, of course, there's the the Global Blitz, and that takes place at Pier One uh, Car Park as well, and that's been very well. Um, the, the tickets are selling good on all of these shows, and uh, I think it's going to be. They're saying a lot of people are saying that this is going to be the biggest sum fest ever, and when so many people tell you that, after a while, it comes true, and uh, the international market and you guys have been doing great. Not, I don't know. It's not you guys, but it's it's um, the name of that. Um, you know, Irish. The Bridge Radio Network. The Bridge, is, the bridge and Irish job. together. Yeah, yes. again. They've done a tremendous job, and and they're so enthusiastic and, and creative, both both in England and in UK and New York and and in Canada too. We, I've seen them up there a couple of times, and of course here and at the Rock itself in Kingston big up to them they've done a tremendous job and i really appreciate it we all appreciate it. we talk about you guys every day oh thank you i'll take a bow for that yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah man mm -hmm. yes uh so we we are talking now about well last year you had a massive uh tribute to dance hall producer extraordinaire uh mm -hmm. dave kelly Mm -hmm. This year, you're you're having a tribute to the king, mm -hmm. the, the legendary mm -hmm. Lloyd James, King James. He's actually he's actually going back to his birthplace, St. James, to believe it or not. Uh, I tell you, he's so excited about this. He tells me, he says, Joe, I'm so excited to do this. And I've been wanting to do this for decades. I've done it a few times in Europe. But I can tell you this time around, it's really, really special. And that's what he tells me. And what I see is that I've been to three rehearsals. Uh, we have a, we've, we had a five uh, chapter series 
but behind the scenes with him, it was been on reggaesumfest.com and through on the IG and through various other platforms. And it's really exciting yeah. just to see <laughs> how he works as an individual. And he's oh no, you know, he's tireless. You know, he he he's timeless, yeah. He, he's tireless and he invests a lot of energy in what he's doing. That's why he's so good. Mm-hmm. Well, I, he has a good, you know, his sons are done a good job too. I mean, he, I mean, there's a couple of people, you know, um, there's, there's Freddie McGregor who has his sons that are active with him on stage and they're active themselves. Uh, and they hit the charts all over the world. They'd make great music and to be able, uh, and then the, there's King Jammy that works with his sons also, and they do things on their own. And to be able to be alive, to have that kind of blessing, to yes. be able to communicate I, with your sons, that's something that Bob Marley never got there for himself. Never. Just let, let's take a break, Joe, and we'll be right back. We see we have a little challenge with... A little challenge there with a great slang thing. A King Jammy production. Uh, well, you know, Prince Jammies in those days. The year was 1985, and this one is definitely a classic. One of the many, many major hits that have come through the King Jammies initiative. What a man. Now, uh, I think I'm now joined by Catherine Goodall. Uh, Catherine is the lady who must be celebrated because based on what Joe is saying, she is the lady in charge of sponsorship and uh, Joe seems to be particularly pleased about what is happening there. Hi, Catherine, how are you? Hello, Catherine, are you there? Uh, is Scatter there? Is, 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 is because we're not, I'm not hearing anybody right now. I'm not here. sure. What I am here. I am here. I'm hearing you loud and clear. Let me see. All right. All right. Scat all right. Scatter. Um, but yes. we wanted to get Catherine and um, we, we, I, we seem to be having a challenge. I'm not sure what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, so if, if, if we don't have Catherine, we're going to move on. Yes. Uh, so, so Joe has been joined by Scatter Burrell and Scatter is one of the prime movers behind the festival. He is, involved in a lot of things in terms of the coordination of the festival getting the acts determining who will be on the show and he is a jack of all trades kind of thing there a man who really gets involved in the weeds of the of the festival so it's an important person to talk with uh as we look at what is happening with reggae some fest 2023 uh so we we are looking at some of the acts and and one of my questions would be what is different about reggae sumfest 2023 from reggae sumfest 2022 um yeah you had some fabulous performances uh what stood out for me was the tribute to dave kelly last year um what what am i to expect and the 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 patrons are to expect that is different about Reggae Sum Fest 2023. Of course, they're, 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 uh, uh, Catherine, are you there now? Hi, I am. Oh, I couldn't um, hear anything before because it's so loud at the community festival. All right. So um, I'm I'm just, I was I was I'd started asking Scatter a question, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna break to you um and then I'll get back to Scatter. Uh, so Joe seems to be very pleased with, with, with the sponsorship of the event and, and you are, um, a, a big part of that. Uh, now that suggests that the people are buying into the, the festival, uh, as far as the, the sponsors are concerned. And that's, that's a very good thing. Now, um, You have been involved with 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 some fest now for a few years. What what's what's the difference? Would you say in terms of the reaction of the sponsors 
to the event over these last few years? Has there been a marked difference or, you know, things have just moved incrementally? What, what has happened? Catherine? I think we've lost Catherine here. Ah, the place must be really noisy for Catherine. So it's it's going to be it's it's a it's a hard one. Yes, uh, yes scatter. Yes. So let me get back. You you, you heard my question. Let's let's yes, get. What's, what what's special about twenty twenty three? Right, because after we yes. did a, a wonderful production with um Maddo's tribute and so forth, how do we top that? <laughs> Well, I must tell you, Clyde, just the same way you come on the radio every weekend and you do your show and you have to find ways to make it more and more interesting. We are left with the task of getting up every September and arguing with this man on the panel here named Joe Bogdanovich. You know what I'm saying? We 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 come close to yeah. so we come close to fist fights to make crucial decisions. I'm sure. <laughs> yes. And I'm um, sure. I mean, yeah, I mean. Yeah, but it, it, it's, knowing Joel, yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it is for the good of the festival because we have such a passion for this this music and this culture, Jamaica. And, you know, Joe, even when Joe knows what you're saying is correct, he gives you a hard time because he wants you to be sure because he loves to what argue. you're doing, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, so we have to dot our eyes. That's right, Joe. Authorities. So when we have a, yeah, I, 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 think, I, think I have an in. idea. I think I have an idea about that about Joe. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> when we when we talk about King Jamies, when you think about his vast catalog and so forth, we can only scratch the surface as um, new producers. Um, I mean, there are so many reputable producers, but I think King Jamies. Um, is like the epitome of dancehall and reggae that is fused together. You have King Tubbies and so, a lot of greats, Steely and Cleavis and so forth. But King Jamies was also a hub where a lot of artists and producers thrive and emerge from and took off a. And obviously, of obviously, home. he would have he would have inspired a yes. young producer like yourself. Yes, exactly. Who, who who has had international success. Yes, definitely. Um, most definitely. And so, um, so 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 he would be somebody who you would look up to and you would have uh seen doing his thing and said, well, you know, I want to be like King Jamis. Definitely, obviously. definitely. Definitely. Right. We just want him to pass on the information to the other youths them who probably don't know and to just celebrate this giant and we hope to, to to do that on Saturday night and just make Jamaica aware that we have to respect to these guys who work behind the scene to make this culture what it is, you know? That's 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 correct. Uh so tell me now, um, so so there is a King Jamis tribute. Uh yeah. and I don't want to necessarily go into all the details about about that. But then yeah. there is another, I mean, a, well, a, a form of a tribute to to, to yeah. Fred McGregor. Uh, who was not, uh, I think, performed um, yes. at some fest ever, if 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 I'm correct. Um, well, he did. He did at the virtual. He did. He performed yes. at the virtual. Definitely. But he's yes. never performed at the festival in oh. its traditional form, as far as I know. Wow, um, you're doing some research, uh, man. Wow. Well, I think he, he, it was Freddie who told me that. So, oh. I, mean, mm -mm. so I don't know. I don't know. So. I, it was good when I when I when I when I, when I said um, to Fred. Well, well, when he called me and told me that he was going to be, uh, or, or I got the information that he was going to be on the show, yes. you know, because I know he has wanted to be on that show, and he's coming now with his family and and everything. Yes. So that yes. that 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 that's really yes great. something great. Yes. Well, well the, the irony about this is we actually reached out to Freddie. I think it's probably in January, you know, um, even before he, 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 he took ill. Yes. So had him in our profile vision from, from then, and it only made sense now to, to, to give him that support, to assist in building back his confidence because we are sure that he has a lot more in him to give to this music and the culture. And some first wanted to be that platform that he rolled out back on and just show the world how great he is and how just to be an inspiration for everybody and to celebrate him as a legend as well. So 
I mean, Sumfest has always tried to cater to all the greatness in this industry and try to put the artists them forward. And this is his first time on Sumfest, and we welcome it, and we just hope that it can be a wonderful show for everybody, you know? Uh, any improvements in terms of the running order, in terms of anything that you might contemplate now uh, that would be uh, a step up from last year, anything that you thought that caught your attention that needs to be addressed uh, for this iteration of the show? Well, one one of the many things that we have been arguing, and Joe is very adamant about us um, fixing and tweaking, is our band changes mm -hmm. and um, the, the, the cutoff time for the show as well. Mm -hmm. So you, we have a running order. We mm -hmm. have to, to be on it on time and go by the book and not insert new elements that um ter you know throws off the time and the, the and, and puts us in problem with the city of Montego Bay because it costs it costs when you go over time. So we have a wonderful lineup and I'm sure if we stick with it and ensure that we stay within the margins, the show will be great. And patrons won't there will be no lull because we'll patrons will always be entertained. So you said the band change is, is definitely one thing you are going to be looking at because that you figure is something that needs to be addressed. Yes, definitely needs some real administration. And I mean, we can get better now and that's what we do. We thrive to be better every year. I mean, that's the kind, that, that's the kind of analysis and that's the kind of critique that is yeah. important when you're doing business. You don't, yeah. you don't get complacent and self-satisfied and saying, well, I mean, yeah, because, you know, one can be carried away based on the success of this festival. Oh my, and what, what, one, what one could be, because yeah. at the same time, one should be looking at ways of improving it, even though it's so good. Yes. So that, we, that, we, we, uh, the Joe barely pats himself, or we, we barely pat ourselves on the shoulder. We just take time off, and then we're back on the horse again, and it's back to work, because... We have a duty and we understand the magnitude of this undertaking and the responsibility that, that comes with it. So egos have to be aside out the door and understand that we're doing this for a greater purpose than ourselves. I mean, the predecessors, the, the, the past owners of this festival brought it this far, you know, and they were barely out there putting themselves out there. But based on social media now, we have to put ourselves out there and be the face of this brand, this great brand, Reggae Song Fest. And we have to do what's necessary to just convey a warm message of gratitude and uh, uh, um, just to just engage the fans and let them know that this is us trying to be patriots to the nation and they can join in and also celebrate this great nation by just being a part of it some fest, you know? So that's the main focus. Everything else is out the window and secondary. Uh, just, a, just a question. I'd ask this one of Joe. And I want to get your response because I, I thought I overheard Joe saying in some forum, <laughs> forum that he might be uh, bringing back foreign acts, uh, overseas acts to the festival. Yes. Um, is this something that you're seriously contemplating and why would you do that? Well, um, well, the patrons are also there to be pleased. And when you look at what's going on now. This is a very competitive industry, right? And um, we have competitors who are able to keep one-off shows and just bring one overseas act and fill a stadium, you know? Mm -hmm. This show called Reggae Song Fest, we cater to every aspect of the culture. You know, we have the, 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 the Star Wars and then we have the new acts, we have the sound system, we celebrate so much within this culture. It puts us an immense strain on us because we are not able, for the past five years, since we have been involved with this, this show, we have not been able to go for the big hype then of our overseas act. You know what I'm saying? When oh. other people are able to dabble in it and um, earn and please the fans and make a name for themselves and even regard themselves as the biggest thing in the Caribbean when it comes to shows. When you look at Reggae Sumfest, when 
we decided that okay we're gonna go local acts we're gonna celebrate jamaica gonna celebrate the, the dance hall and the reggae culture that was an immense serious move to make we could have lost out but we have made the festival into something else you know what i do think it's time for us to understand that we still have a a a, a spirit of competition that exists and we need we need to thrive and show them that we can also play on that field as well by bringing real reputable international acts that are inspired by this culture that love this country and want to come and party with us and perform for us as well because music bob marley was performing in madison square gardens he performed with stevie wonder he performed with um the beatles you know so oh, it's time to open back the door and let's bring cultures together on this wonderful island to have a wonderful celebration it does everything for the culture oh, okay okay all right this 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 year um of course i know a lot of attention has been paid to marion and what yeah. she has been doing and i suppose that performance at grooving in the park uh is a philip to the the event because i mean she she really gave a, a stirring performance in new york Yes. And um, she's a closing act for, for, for the show this year. But tell me about some of the other highlights that you have for for the event this year, Scatter. Well, um, first and foremost, when you look at an artist like um, Tommy Lee, um, a son of the soil in Montego Bay, it was natural for um, Dawn Sound to be creative, think creative, and um, reached out to him and his team even before he, he completed his time behind mm -hmm. the bars. Right. This question was going on months before, you know, because we acknowledged that he's going to be back and we wanted to make this wonderful presentation. Yes, I mean, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's a good thing. He's coming yes. back. He's making... Yes. Yes, and making this wonderful appearance on Sumfest for the first time for him and his fans. So... That was a strategic move on our end as well. And then, I mean, when you look at Valiant, he has not graced a proper stage to show why he is one of the best new contenders right now in the dance hall fraternity. And Sunfest is giving him an opportunity. Sunfest is providing a platform for Valiant. A platform. To yes, yes. Because he has, we're, saying, we're saying he has not been able to demonstrate how good he is so far. No, no. If you look at the shows that he has been on, been been on in and around the diaspora, the world basically, there's nothing like a sunfest stage. You know, you, you cannot walk ten steps and you 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 yes yes you finish the stage. This is a big stage. You have to run. You have to jump. You have to do everything. So it's gonna show how fit you are. It's gonna show how anki you can be how good you can interact with the fans and the bands at the same time. So there's so many elements to look at in a youth performance when they're on a summer stage to know if they're really qualified to be amongst the greats, you know? So that's why this year we have a lot of young crop of artists on the show because we believe in the next generation and we don't want to criticize them, we want to help them. And it's very important for us to think 10 years down the line, who's going to be the youths them representing? So we have to give them this platform, the opportunity that was presented to Bounty, Dini and so many others. You know, we are presenting it to these youths right now to come and show us what they're made of. And I'm excited to see what Massacre is going to emerge with because it's a youth that has been in the gym since his 2022 performance. He has been been working out because him setting a comeback to open game by 10 folds. So we're eager to see him. He has just been signed by a major label. So I'm, I'm sure his confidence is booming right now and he's just planning to come and show them why he's getting all of this success. You know, so the youths, them, it's all about the youths on the Friday night. And then we have Morgan Heritage, you know. You mentioned Marian Hall. Marian Hall is a strong female. I was reminded of that when I saw her on Groovin in the park because I am here trying to convince her to send some message to her saying, Maria Lady Sar, Maria Nal, please write over the old catalog in some religious way, no, please, because we need that. But yeah, when I you, know, you know, that's, that's something that's something that 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 I've been thinking about. I mean <laughs> I'm you. So, 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 so so Lady Star on the joyride. I mean yes, yes. the religious the religious but, but, one. <laughs> but Kai, when I saw her on grooving in the park though. 
I was reminded that this woman is a powerful woman. She only needs to be she on the is, stage with a mic and she music. Is, she is the queen. Hi, Seth. Yes. I'm back. Hi, friend. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> she is the so queen. Yes. Yes. So mean, she, 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 she is arguably, I mean, what a case could be made that she's arguably the greatest dancehall artist. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not, not just, yes. not just female. I mean, no, I mean, it's a controversial issue, but I mean, she's so brilliant. She I mean, is. She, is. she is absolutely so brilliant that, you know, a yes. case could be made, you know. Yes. When and I see why, person. and I see why she may even have struggles within the religious community because she is so strong and powerful. You, even if she take dance all away from her name, when she gets on a stage, you see dance all. I don't, think she, can, I don't think she can divorce herself from <laughs> no. dance all. Yes. She might, she might want to separate herself from messages and a risky kind yes. of. Yes. But I mean, dance hall, That's her, and she, yeah. she is not going to represent anything but. And I'm sorry, I must tell you. Most recently, now I've seen a lot of people. The amount of people that are approaching me now, asking me. How they get some first ticket because they want to come and see Marion Hall. They weren't singing this tune two months ago. But they have realized that, no, this is something to come and witness. Yeah, when I've, 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 I've heard her. a lot of people saying that they, they have to go and see her, you know? Yes. I, yes. I mean, there's a lot of people. She, she, she's a draw, a big draw. Catherine, a... so you you have you have been the powerhouse behind this bumper sponsorship that Joe is boasting about. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Caribbean Airlines and you, you guys are flying high. Yeah. Um, tell me, um, is there a real uptick in terms of sponsorship? Have people now realized the value of being associated with some fest? What, what, what's happening? Tell me. I think people always realize the value. I think sometimes people felt that it was out of their reach. But the reality is that we are willing to work with any of our partners to make sure that we can create a package that's fitted for them. So people come in and they see a Caribbean Airlines and they say, well, we're not able to get to where Caribbean Airlines is, but you don't have to. I mean, we have a new partner this year, Prime Trust, who just launched their business a couple of years ago and they opened their location in Montego Bay and they said they knew they had to come on board as a partner with Reggae Something. So we, made, we created a package for them. So we, we are open to tailoring packages for partnerships. Don't be afraid because you get overwhelmed by the magnitude of who we are. We are very open to having partnership discussions. But yeah, we, we're grateful for all the partnerships that we've had over the years. I mean, there's very few spaces that anybody can come in and see a red stripe and a red and they're participating in the same space. So it's all about yeah, the unity and bringing everybody together. That says something about your leverage when you can get both sponsors of that magnitude in the same space, because one is usually going to try to oust the other. <laughs> well, you know, Casa Fede San Joe says it all the time, right? Our music, our festival, our culture, it's ours. It's all about unity. That's what we try to promote all the time. And so our sponsors come on board and they know that, you know, we're able to coexist we have Pepsi as a partner, and we have Wisinko as a partner. Second, and we have one second, country as a partner. Right back to you so after the break. One, one break. Just, just, just a break. Coming from 4BD in Old Arias, uh today. Um, is speaking. Kata, you know that. You know that. You know. You know. You know that 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 song there. You familiar with it? Oh, you familiar yeah, with <laughs> one of the one of the features one of the featured song on the cooler dance with him that I produced back in um... <laughs> and, 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 you know? and and Beyonce is now including it in our performances. Am I correct? Yes, definitely. And Frisco Kid is actually on one of the on the Blitz night if I'm not if I'm not wrong. Yes, 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 right. he is, yes, he is Cassandra, right? Yeah, so, so, you know, so, so, you. so next year, next year, next year, we could have uh, we could have Beyonce, you know, the Queen. Uh, baby. Anything is possible. 
<laughs> so much things happening right now, you know. So you know, anything is possible, and this is the reason why when you are a part of a, 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 an event like a reggae song fest, it puts you out there where you can reach out in many places and bring back to contribute to the brand because when the brand contributes to you, it's only natural you can feed back something towards it, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, Catherine, you, 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 we were talking a little bit about um, sponsorship support and uh, uh, clearly Sumfest is pleased with the level of support that we've been getting. Yes. Yeah. And um, you, 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 you um, obviously would want to commend and maybe. Well, it's too late now to ask. Right? Nobody. Yes, it's too, too late now. We have the, We don't even have physical space in the venue to accommodate anybody else. <laughs> so you have to come out from very early to be a part of reggae something. We start our negotiation from September, October, the year before. Mm -hmm. And um, tell me, where where most of the sponsors are Jamaican? I mean, do you have? I mean, well, there's Caribbean Airline, which is a Caribbean. Um, right, we do have we have a lot of regional partners. Um, mm -hmm. So of course, I mean, we have global brands. Red Red Stripe is a global brand. Brian Neville has Appleton and uh, Magnum is a regional brand. They're everywhere in the Caribbean now. Um, we do have Nestle on board, also a regional, actually an international brand. And then we have a company called One RPM, which is a, a record label based in the U.S. that is also on board because, you know, our music, like as I say, reaches everybody. So our culture is very influential. And, you know, we have our, um, our live stream also that people can partner with. As a matter of fact, if people want to still partner to sponsor the live stream, there are a few spaces left so they can reach out to us at Reggae Fest 2020, 2022 at Gmail if they are interested in sponsoring the live stream. That reaches so, millions of people globally. So the live stream is free, right? I it's, just the live stream is, is yes free for people to watch. So it is it attracts millions and millions. And the great thing about sponsoring the live stream is that you get the residual because anytime anybody watches the live stream on our YouTube channel, they will get, they will get to see your ad in perpetuity. Oh, so, so that, that's a great bargain then. So if one really wants to have a presence uh, yes. on some fest, then that's a, that's a great way to go. Absolutely. So the stream, you're streaming what? Um, we Friday, stream show Friday and Saturday night, and Sound Clash, Sound Clash is also streamed. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yes, Joe, you 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 had something to say on that? Yeah, that's that's correct. Um, did you mention? Did you miss out on Grace? Did you mention Grace? Grace. 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 No, no, I didn't. Thanks for that reminder. Grace Kennedy is also a very major partner. They've actually come on board this year with new brands. So it's not just Grace Jerk, which is always um, a partner for our food course, but they also have come on board with Tropical Redeems, Mighty Malls, and some other flavors this year. And uh, it's international in the region. Other products, I mean. Absolutely. They are a global brand. They're in Africa, U.S., Canada, Europe, everywhere. So we have a lot of global partners. And yes, even though locally they can own their global reach so um you're saying that um well two things mm -hmm. i would um like to ask you um how many of these people are new people uh, um you know like that you're talking about or all these people have been with you for the last five years or what, what, what many of saying? them have been with us some for over 20 years uh, because it's mm -hmm. such a great brand the alignment they see the value because it's reciprocal it's not a one way everybody it's a partnership we treat our sponsors like partners uh, so most of our partners keep coming back every year but we do have some new brands on board Prime Trust is one mm -hmm. of them they are our official cameo like I said Grace Kennedy has extended their portfolio so it used to only be jerk and hot dogs now it is many other products in their portfolio um, one RPM is also new. Um, oh boy, can I put me on the spot? 
Brown box, brown box. Our kitchen box, is a partner that came on last year um, and are back again this year. They are actually very active on the ground at the community base today. We are doing free health checks for all of the children in the community. If for back to school, they just need to bring in their forms and they will get their medicals for school done for free. So run and come out to Catherine Hall Stadium. Bring their children and bring their forms so that they can be completed. Um, for adults, if you have not gone to the doctor and done your medicals, again, Hospital is doing it and partnering with the Ministry of Health to do it for free. So come, there's dentists at the health fest, at the community fest today, free services, so you need to take advantage of them. Uh, we also have um, on board this year a new partner, Jamdex, from the Bank of Jamaica. They are partnering with us. They're actually our title sponsor for the community fest, you know, that is happening right now. At Catherine Hall Stadium, so come out because that, we have so that, many activities. Sta- it's, it's not your stadium, Catherine. <laughs> is that your stadium? <laughs> no, no, not, not not my stadium. <laughs> uh, but, but what's 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 the response been like down there? Oh, wonderful! I was just talking to the team at Hospital, and they said from the gates open at ten o'clock. It has been a constant flow. When I came to a more quiet place to have this interview with you, um, the gate is flooded with people. But of course, you know, we have to make sure, even though it's an, an, an event that is open to the public, we have to be, we have to make sure that our patients are secure. So they were still having our security checks. But it's great. The kids are having a wonderful time in their activity village. We have um, virtual reality, because, you know, that's the way of the world these days for the kids. Uh, we have Lulu and Dominos for the adults, so you guys need to come out. There's something for everybody today. Mm, sounds like a lot happening. A lot happening and the place is full. Joe, um, parking and similar arrangements. I think last year it was pretty good. What 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 are the plans this year? This year we um, we've opened up and made developed a new parking lot right next to um what's the name of that um just mega, Mart. mega Mart. yeah right next to mega Mart for a thousand that's across, the road. that's across the road yeah and it's a thousand cars we've actually bulldozed everything and built a ramp that goes on to howard cook road highway so that's you know it's going to be down to the wire but you know all the cement is is poured and curing and should be up in the next two days so for friday and saturday be, look out for a new parking lot that's available it's a, it's a charge uh, parking lot a thousand dollars per car uh, mm-hmm. it's a big big improvement and a big commitment another big commitment that we've made uh, i'd just like to mention brown box is a another new um a new company that has come on board, I think it's this year, not last year. Uh, and that's a, uh, a, a freight company that carries packages that's done by H&L. So that's another brand that I want you to remember because it's definitely um, on target. Hmm. Uh, Scatter, and um, while we've been talking, um, I it just came to mind that you have had some late uh, additions to the show uh mm-hmm. you want uh would you or joe want to tell us a little bit about that <laughs> wow well I, I don't know if it's late additions it's just icing on the cake you know i mean when you have tj um with one of the biggest song right now in dance hall and um been so we busy the throughout the year. Get the we get the drift we get, yes, the, drift. get the drift he's been so busy throughout the year we only get to lock him down last minute in the past month and we're grateful. It, he, he was, he was, he was, he was scheduled to be on the show. It's, it, it's not an afterthought thing. Well, no, was... but but you know, Joe has uh, some negotiating techniques some of the time that really give oh. me anxiety. You know, when yeah. you listen to him and Sharon Burke on the phone haggling oh. over details, it kills. Haggling? <laughs> There's no haggling. They were just waiting <laughs> for you know. He had a big deal with Warner Brothers. You know. Yeah. And, you know, so so you know, there's a lot of there's oh, a lot of, to deal with the long term, Scatha. <laughs> 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 
So if, you, the you, patrons know, if the patrons know what we go through to make this show possible sometime. Yeah, Joe and Sharon <laughs> Burton negotiate. Answer your question, Clyde. Um, yes? You have, you know, I talked about surprises up my sleeve because I have <laughs> some here. Oh, you sleep. It's not, you know, it's, um, we definitely have, we have some very big surprises that will warm everybody's hearts. Yeah. You and mean that, 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 that's, that's different, separate from TJ. <laughs> it's the 30th that, anniversary. So. <laughs> the 30th anniversary. So there's something big that, 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 that we should expect. But you you can't you can't say anything you can't say anything I can't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, is there? Have you expanded the 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 the, the actual size of the venue, um, Joe, or or this is going to be the same in terms of these specific sizes? Same, Clyde at at Down Sound or at Reggae Sun Fest. It just keeps growing. And growth is what we're about, and service is what we're about, and how to improve service and and being able to get everywhere you want to go. We have an app that's going to be released in the next day or two that shows you everything that you need to know about where to go, where the toilets are, where the various um, booths are that has everybody's name on it. So you know where all the three different... Uh, food courts are throughout the venue. You can find everything on your app and how to get there. It's interactive, and that's going to be uh, a very big helpful thing where no one's going to get lost. And even if you want, you need some medical attention, where to go. Safety is what it's about, how to improve safety, how to improve a lineup that's on time so you keep the energy, you know, uh, how to get, um, how to give people as much uh, good experience and attention as possible and to re and to fully embrace the reggae sumfest experience because it's a mind blower as you know yeah and um you joe um you have a booth that is selling your merchandise down there is that is that correct no, actually um we have a booth that's um dealing with um a, soon to be a bestseller um, called Reggae My Life Is, mm -hmm. Forbes. and we do have a booth there. I don't know if it's the number 39, but it's on the right as you'll walk in with a lot of merchandise of uh, stalls that are in that area. And no, I don't know if there's going to be any merchandise available because it's selling like hot bread over here. <laughs> well, I know that it's all hot bread out there in terms of the temperature, and it's and I think it's rather toasty already. But and it's I can... also moving very quickly. Our hats are almost finished. Our water bottles are almost finished. So whoever wants to buy merch needs to come out early. I just want to remind everybody that last year, Clyde asked, did we expand the venue? We expanded the venue last year, and we still had to turn back people because they didn't come out early enough, so they couldn't get inside. So guys, come out early for Friday night if you want to get inside. So books are, set, books are selling to uh, <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> you said yeah, merch. Yeah, meaning are books on sale. Oh. Absolutely, books are available on sale. Okay. Yeah. All right. I know that Copeland Copeland will be there. Uh, he's flying in from from I think the west coast of America to get there, and he'll be there signing books. Uh, and I think that some of the other uh, members of the team will be there as well, right, Clyde? Well, I, I suspect they will be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving up and down with Clyde tickets in my car. Oh, you ha you, you have my tickets? Oh, I whoa. Do. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I'm, I I uh, get, add some further security to her her car there uh, <laughs> because you know. Oh my! I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure of that. <laughs> um, All right. Just some of the the, the, the other people, because um, you know, I think you know, the the, the lady saw and the the jammies thing. Uh, it, it it has a way of kind of crowding out some of the other notable people who are going to be on the show. I mean, for example, and and uh, the, the fact that Tanya Stevens is going to be there, right? Yeah, she's going to be there. Mm -hmm. Richie Spice Richie with Spice. a great shot. Oh my, Arsenal of songs, man. 
Right. And you're talking about somebody like Kabaka Pyramid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I mean, Virgo, you know, it's, 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 it promises to be great. It's, it's a wonderful celebration of real reggae music, you know? No, I, I, I'm looking forward um, to being there, Catherine, once I can find you to get my tickets. I'll be hunting you down. <laughs> All you have to do is call me. So I am running back to the community space because there's just so many activities happening today. So again, it's open to the public. You guys just come down. There's so much great food. Our team just had some really great fried chicken and rice and peas. The coconut man and cane man just came. Uh, there's a lot going on down here. So I'm going to run back to the community space. So we're at Catherine Hall Stadium. And I'll see you all. We have a whole week of events. Don't forget tomorrow night, Street Dance at Old Hospital Park. Again, open to the public. Uh, Tuesday night, we're at Pier 1, All White. Wednesday, Blitz at Harbor City, which is a brand new state and brand new um, venue. It's beautiful, fountains, pure excitement. Um, Clash on Thursday night, Friday night. You already know, Festival Night 1 at Catherine Hall and Festival Night 2. So come out, we have a week full of events. And we have lots of surprises. Our sponsors are very integral in participating this year. Lots of giveaways, so guys, come out um, and support. Bye, gentlemen. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, bye, bye. bye. You've been wonderful. Thank you. Scatter and, and Joe, I want to talk about the, the issue of cooperation of artists and their management. Yes. Uh, with regards to a festival such as Sumfest. Um, do you find, because there has been criticism about artists and their management about their not being cooperative mm -hmm. and uh, in terms of fees and other demands, mm -hmm. you know, uh, running order and, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. T -t Tell me what, what has been your experience and how have you moved to deal well, with these challenges? Well, you know, we expect great managers to be very distinct and very thorough in their contractual presentation. Like they go over everything with a fine tooth, with a magnifying glass. Mm -hmm. So if you're a true business person, you will understand when you're dealing with good managers who want to, want to stay on top of the business aspect of booking their artists for a show. What becomes a problem is when you're dealing with unprofessionals who think that they have their best, the best interests of their artists at hand when they are only thinking within a small circle. The mm -hmm. artists then will have them bridging and manage them, and the artists then will have, like, just because a close family member, they don't have professional personnel overseeing their business. Mm -hmm. administrating their contracts they don't read contracts they don't reply on in time they take forever to send names for a hotel, hotel room they take forever to send rider information you know they don't show up for rehearsals they don't show up for sound checks stuff like that they want, they they want an exorbitant number of tickets and sometimes they, they want to serve them um, for the friends yes oh my they're not these scheduled are, to be there these are real issues that we face every single year and if we weren't true patriots to this um to this um nation i think we'd have been doing this elsewhere where we can work with better professional persons i'm not saying each each com um area does not have its issues but it's very hard working with unprofessional people who don't respect time and contractual arrangements and so forth so we is that is something that we face every year and there's Jamaica is filled with a vast amount of talent, but the professional aspect of it has always been a hindrance to us and moving forward in this nation and, and out in the wider world because a lot of people don't know how to operate on an international scale. They can only get along in their own country where, you know, people pat them on the shoulders and they're feeding their ego. But to make it an in industry, you have to be professional and that's, that's what's lacking right now. I know Joe can emphasize on this more because he has well, to... you know, you know, the, the mission, the mission of unity through music is, it's not just a slogan. It's a, it's a real challenge in this, in this culture, and you know, with continued, uh, focus and discipline, which is what we try to, 
to do it at, at some fest uh, is a very difficult thing to do when you see your brethren, you know, looking at you with those eyes and asking you for things and all of that and not really knowing the, the, the complexity it is that to, to do a, a big festival this size, to have it run smoothly is something that is, you know, a challenge, very hard to do. And we have a big team to make this happen. We have we meet every Monday morning and we whether we're here or abroad, it doesn't matter. And we focus on this as a team. And, you know, when Skata says, you know, we sometimes we get a little feisty in there. So, but it's only because we care as a group so much to give the world the best, best competitive performance and and festival that is on key with anybody the best in the world. And I'm feeling very good about what we do. Yeah. Well, now, now, now <laughs> Catherine uh, notes that she is driving around with with my my tickets i hope that doesn't put her at any added risk um but um tell me you are using electronic tickets too or or you're just using the traditional uh entry we've been, we've been the champion of you know um on tickets uh online sales on tickets since the very beginning of of when that opportunity arose but I can tell you that their biggest enemy are the scammers because it's not just in Jamaica or in the Caribbean. It is a worldwide phenomenon and it is uh, very sophisticated. And all I can tell you is um, be very careful with what you buy and because there might be others that are trying. There's a lot of credit cards in the black market. They're out there. Uh, that that people uh, don't know that it's being charged to their accounts, and we do a, we spend a lot of money on checks and balances to keep a, you know a daily account of what's going on and how to do do some you know some good good surveying and professional um, help on how to know what's real and what's not. But this is something that is a big game game changer in the uh, it's as big as as as. The, the the pandemic that we had COVID-19 it's much bigger than that now in an economic way we the changing world that's going on and with AI and all that kind of thing there's a lot of new things happening and how we as a company and as Reggae Sumfest are very much tuned in to these changes and how we will um, deal with it when, when it happens on especially on the 21st and the 22nd so for those of those that are out there that are thinking they can get in with a lot of phony tickets, um, you're, it's only one person going to get in, and that'll be it. And uh, and we'll be checking in the lines also to make sure that your credentials are in order and not to um, be able to hurt this festival the best we can. I just want to make sure that that's a public statement. Thank you for asking. Yeah, and, and where are your tickets available, if you might just give a they're reminder? They're available at Fontana uh, Pharmacies. Uh, they're available at H&L. Um, what's the one called? Scata, the one there that um, that sells so many tickets there. Um, Fontana. Huh? Which one? Fontana Pharmacy. No, not a pharmacy. El that, Paso. Huh? El Paso. El Paso. Yeah. Uh, there, right in the city there uh mm -hmm. they sell as many tickets as fontana does uh so we have you know we have h and l fontana uh uh reggae .com that's a big seller um mm -hmm. and uh el paso yeah okay yeah yeah you, you uh any any um any of the ticketing outlets international ticketing outlets that you're using for this no 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 we do it all online it's it's all online you know clyde it's it's an online world it's a you know thank um thank our friend there from california steve jobs but he's also the one that's causing a lot of challenges in technology <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's no longer with us, but <laughs> and things are, are, are on fire. Yeah, but, 
but but, uh, but let me just take a let me just take a quick break and I'll come back to the final <laughs> section of right. physically speaking talking with Joseph Bogdanovich and Scatter Burrell of Down Sound Entertainment promoters of Reggae Subfest. <laughs> me in my 4BD shirt. I'm really coming to you live from the 4BD outlet. Yes, the 4DBD store. It's quite a place in Ocherius on the Parkway Plaza. You need to come and see it. Uh, so they have a new kids line, you know, 4BD kids. Yeah. So that's something you need to pay some attention to. Just come and ask for Chris. Uh, so we are in the final stages. Um, just want to get a sense of the performances. Um, there, there are people who, you know, they're hearing a lot of names, but they can't situate them in the lineup. What What is going to be happening on Friday night? What is going to be happening on Saturday night? Scatter, you want to just give me a, a, an overview of who should I expect to see on Friday night and who should I expect to see on Saturday night? No problem. Um, well, you know, Friday night, <laughs> Joe has his list right there, but if I fall off Joe, you can pick up for me. But um, there's uh, quite a few wonderful elements on Friday night, which is um, people see it as a dance on like, it's definitely a much more hardcore night than the Saturday, none less entertaining though. Um, you know, we have um, a lot of, when you young. say hard, this is a young. This, this is for the, 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 the. This is going to be the valiant. Um, yeah, Tom. I, I mean, it, it 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 consists of this year consists of a lot of young, new emerging acts and the young hot one as well. But the the the, the difference is there is this segment called the boombox badness. What is that? This set is nineties DJs, Jigsy King, Harry Toddler. Mega Bantan, General B, Roundhead, Nitikochi, Tony Curtis, right? Probably I'm missing two more, I'm not sure, but mm. it's a vast amount of 90s artists with a huge catalog that has contributed immensely to that's, 90s. That's, 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 a mouth, that's a mouth watering uh yes combination yes. here. Yes. yes. And I'm telling you, um, of course, Boom Dandemite was a part of that package. Right, so we well, still have to celebrate yeah, Boogie so and the Man. It's going to be a to him of, of sorts. Yes, as well, yes. So the young acts are going to be able to feed mm -hmm. off of this 90s energy because those guys used to play everything by ear. You know? They used to, they know how to hear a rhythm and go on key. They know how to catch it on the right bar. It is like an old school lesson that needs to be passed down to the kids because these guys are able to all DJ on one rhythm, 10 songs on one rhythm. Those kind of things that is not something that is taught, it is something that you have to have inside of you. But it needs to be passed on because if they, the guys don't get to see it for themselves, we can't blame them if they don't implement it into what they are doing. So Boombox is maybe a takeoff from mm -hmm. the success of the Dave Kelly tribute last oh, year. Definitely, most definitely. Mm -hmm. um, we acknowledge how influential 90s and early 2000s dancehall is on this great culture and the impact it creates abroad with crossover music and so forth. We cannot allow it to fade in the shadows that where my generation and the one before me only know about it. We have to put it there for the youths now to feed off of it. And what they can take from it to, to, to fuse with what they're doing can only amount to something great. So the boombox is a special feature on- It's a special feature. We have Maya, we have Vanessa Bling, we have so many. We have Top Man. We have 450. As I said, as I mentioned before, Valiant, Tamily, and Massacre. But there are so many other young acts you know, that slated to perform during the night. And I'm telling you, they have an audience. They have their fans. You, you know, so enough, enough Starlight may not be on the show for <clears throat> someone who kind of like oldie but the goodie. But these young cats, they have a huge fan base through social media. You'd be surprised to know the type of activity and the buzz that they get when they're on a show. 
So the, it's going to be, a, but it's going to be a mix because you're having these ninety yes. dollar watches. Yes, that's that's uh, with, the, with these emerging yes. stars, the valiants yes. of this world. That's why the pot of soup are going to be nice. You know, it's going to be nice yeah. and yeah. All right. And and what about Saturday now? Uh, wait, wait, wait. So no, wait, 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 no but, but but we're not finished with Friday. No, we're not finished. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Did you were saying something, Joe? Just just so you know, for Boombox, they go on at eleven forty four, you know, PM. So uh eleven forty four, <clears> that's when time they go on. AM. Yes. Yes. PM, yes. And so that's people get there early. early. That's yeah. Boombox. <clears throat> but by that time some fest is very packed, you know. A lot of people here because you know, people normally in Jamaica we go out to a stage show at two, three o'clock. But from nine o'clock there's people, there's a long line out the road, people streaming in and getting comfortable. So by 10, 11 o'clock, that place is like three quarter full, you know? So when you hear eleven thirty for boom box, just yeah. know that they're gonna be in a full house. Yeah, it's close to sell out time. Yeah, 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 definitely. So the Saturday, Joe, you care to, to give us a high, highlight on the Saturday? Okay, well, Saturday is, um, it's really quite interesting. You know, we um, we have the, um, what do we have here? You know, we, we have. Uh, I, I hear, I hear I, but Scott, I hear you talking about 11.45. You and Joe talking about 11.45. You yes. guys are really going to be that precise in terms <laughs> of your scheduling? Uh oh. <laughs> Are you, are you setting yourself up? Well, Clara, Clara put bad mode, Pauline. No, I'm, I, no, I just asked because I'm saying, why are, why are you guys so strict with the time? I mean, are you 1145? You have to be concise. You have to. Because okay. we don't want any yeah, talk okay. in the that's morning. A, that's the way to go. That's the way yeah. to go. <laughs> that's the way to go. <laughs> All yeah, right, go ahead, Joe. Go ahead, Joe. I can tell you, you know, Richie, Richie Spice comes on around 11.46, and Deano, Deani follows him at 11.18. And Deani, of course, you know, is a kind of person that has a few surprises for you. And I'm telling you, it's going to be a really big surprise, what you can see. So be sure to get there early to see him. There's no question about a big, big star coming up. He's playing in Washington, D.C. tonight. He's working. He's on the he's on the move. I take it, I take it he's a down sound actor, Joe. He's not only a down sound act, he's actually a joy to work with. Okay. That's great. That's <laughs> fabulous. Yes. yes. Go, go, go. So then go. we've got, you know, Tanya Stevens goes on just before midnight, and, and she'll be on there for 30 minutes. Uh, That's and big. That's Freddie big. Gregor after that. At Who? 12. Freddie. Yeah. Freddie comes in, uh, yeah, after 12, right? After midnight. Yes. You got to get there early. Don't get there late because you're going to miss out on some of the best performances you you maybe ever see. And mm -hmm. then we've got Romaine Virgo at one fifty one a.m. And then we have the thirtieth anniversary anniversary recognition, of which will be something very special. And uh, and if we're not on time, we can use that to get on time. But I think we will be on time because. We talk about it every. Well, the, 30, the 30th anniversary special is that supposed to be a state secret? That's a state secret, sir. How did? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, then Morgan Heritage goes on, you know, before three, two fifty-five, and that's that'll be very, very big. They're looking forward to it. They're you know, on a tour in the in the Caribbean right now, uh, and then Kabaka Pyramid around four, and then. Then there's the minister Marianne Hall, and she goes on a little after, a little before five thirty, and she will bring you the the dawn of a new era. Mm -hmm. So uh, where, where did, did, did I didn't I didn't hear where the the King Jammies? Uh, oh, Jammies came a little bit earlier than that, actually. Um, where is he? He's um King Jammy. King Jammy comes on at ten o'clock. 10 a.m. So you, you better get early because he, he's got. Oh, oh he's, he's, he's on early. I'm telling you, um, we have a tight schedule here. These are all big, big stars. And the ones that are blessed to be in there in the beginning are, are some people like the. Um, there's one of those winners there. The, one of those one of those winners, Scatta. Um, there's a magnum, the, the, the magnum 
contestant the other day. Yeah. Okay. The, the top performer, Magnum top performer. Yeah. And then there's a yeah, there's a red stripe contestant as well who won a few competitions. So we're we're giving various entities an opportunity to showcase talents from these youths that they kind of been pushing, you know. And those are in the early hours as well. And a lot of other young acts. And we also have Mighty Crown because it's their 30th anniversary as well. And they, now they're, they, they, they're, they're signing off now. Mighty yeah, Crown. they're signing off. They're bowing off. Nice. Friday night's Mighty Crown, huh? Uh, yeah, I think it's Saturday. Yeah. Is it? Is it? No, it's Friday, definitely. It's Friday. We wouldn't put them to compete with King Jams. So Mighty Crown takes the, the, the stage as well on Friday. Yeah, and the Magnum top performer will be in there also on yes, Friday. Yes, yes. So there's a, a whole lot going on. There's a light show to celebrate the 30th anniversary and a few other um, more surprises. And well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised, Clyde, if we if something happens on that stage that you'll have some people up there that um, during the band change and being able to reach out to the and thank the public for being there and and make a few comments that are relevant of the times. Um, strictly entertainment. Uh, yes. Light the light show. Is John DaCosta still a part of your team there, guys? Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. One of the best. Yes, yeah. he's brilliant. Yeah. So it's 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 gonna be, I mean, a fabulous show um in more ways than one. You know, uh, you know yes. the spirit of the spirit of Reggae Sumfest, the experience. Is something that happens when you just first walk into the venue. Yeah. You know, you're seeing this big plane, this Caribbean Airlines huge plane right there greeting you in. And then when you see. Oh, 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 oh. so people are going to land there? <laughs> they're not going to well, use they're the They're landing there so. right now. They're actually coming from you know Manchester and all that. They're coming in early to celebrate this grand thing right now already. It's amazing that the kind of depth of patronage that we're feeling this year, which really shows that this is a big, big festival. It's a festival and how to enjoy different nights of things. You know, it's we've really graduated exponentially in the last seven years. I can tell you that. OK, <laughs> and 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 you you are you're saying that, you know, there are different levels in terms of We'd say patronage. So there, 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 there are people that have VIP sections where you, where you have food and drink and all of that kind of thing. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we have the Lux Lounge, which is the most exclusive section of the of the venue, which is at the top of stage left and stage right platforms, uh, and they those are four people to a table, twelve tables to a side. And um, the big rollers are the ones that usually end up in that place. And then underneath that is, and that'll be fantastic. The service is great. White love, white glove kind of treatment. Um, just to pamper yourself and to make sure that everybody's feeling the vibe. Mm -hmm. And then you have the, the, the seats, the all seats on both stage left and stage right. And they go for, you know, a, a good amount of, good amount of money but you know not undoable nothing bigger than last year which sold out so uh and then we have the vvip which is right in front and they hold around 1500 people is all with tables and uh that's center stage and it's uh you know if you want to stand up and walk around and see everything I mean, it's only 1500 people going to be in there so that's going to be nice and kind of roomy and then the VIP, which is very popular, and we have it down to X number of feet per square person to make it comfortable and not to be over over prescribed. That's what we did. And then the general admission, the general admission looks good. There's a lot of people that fit in general admission because uh, there are a lot of screens around around the venue and a lot to see and visit, uh, hang out. Uh, the 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 grace the the grace. Uh, food court has is got a lot of room to sit down and eat your food and you know talk with your friends hang out lime you know um i uh i think we're making a lot of um a lot of 
a lot of effort to make sure that everybody who's supposed to be in there gets in there and with comfort. Parking is good for backstage uh, by the beach with the uh, the ultra VIP ticket holders get that and a lot also the the UVIP, the ultra VIP, which is those seats, that's where their parking will be. Uh, and the VVIP in front center stage will be there. But there's that big parking lot on the other side, which is a thousand cars can fit in there. And we did that. We, Reggae Semfest, built that and got the permission to do it. And that's just how serious we are and how to please the customers and give them the ultimate experience. And Semfest City, yeah. Semfest City. And, and gee, the... Uh, the, the person there at the chamber and the mayor gave us that 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 distinction, which is a great honor and and a great responsibility. And the um, the international people are definitely we know who they are and they're coming. And by the way, they, the guy, um, the one that runs the Grammys will be there with his team. Uh, he wants to see what this reggae Sunfest is all about and our music and what it's all about. And you know, BET will be there to to watch their 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 new their new artist Massacre, and they're coming out in force. They want to see what reggae is all about and who these artists are, and looking to sign people. You know, we're bringing a lot of a lot of wealth to the city of Montego Bay through our music, our festival, our culture. What's the accommodation like now? You're here. <laughs> Accommodation, well, uh, it's not called Tent City, it's called Sumfest City. And the there are, I think if you if you got a lot of extra money, you can maybe get a room somewhere, but um I'm it's pretty they're telling me it's full and um and it looks like it's full. And if it looks like it's full and it um, moves like like it's full. And it's full. It's full. It's yeah. Far stay, staying as far as um Ocho Rios or Runaway Bay or Negro. Just you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, well I, I hope I can find some place down in Montego Bay there, Joe. <laughs> we have something there. It's actually at the venue. And we spilt we built a special little um um what do you call it? A penthouse up there on <laughs> That's what I like about you. You're always looking, looking, looking after me. Yeah. <laughs> in many ways, Clyde. In so many ways. You're, you're so kind to me. <laughs> uh, just, just flashback. Um, Scatter. In in the in the last five years uh, of doing some fest, what seven years? Seven years. It's seven years. It's seven years. Seven yeah. years. Two years was um. You including COVID in that, Joe? Yeah, yeah but, I mean, in that. yeah. So what 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 is perhaps the most memorable moment or moments for you? You you scatter and then Joe or whoever whoever wants to take it first. I can report on Scatus. I saw it. Yeah. I can tell you about it. I can tell you about it first. It was, I don't know if it was 2019 or 2018. Yeah. But it was one of those years and the, the place was full and the daybreak was there. And he he was sitting on on some kind of box on the stage with his legs overhanging there, just taking in the, the heat of the of the dawn. And the big success. Oh, he got it. He nailed it. Yeah. it Clyde, was... I'm telling you, Joe nailed it because it's something that I've, I said it to him once and he understood. I think it was 2019. Yeah. Right? And I, I'm telling you, 2018, sorry, because I think, I don't know if it was Sean Paul or one of them, but someone performed in the morning and the mm -hmm. sun just came down. And that is when you see what everybody looks like in the venue. <laughs> And yeah. we were fortunate to have a full venue at that time when the sun was rising up. And you see all these wonderful people looking so relaxed on a Sunday morning. And you saw, now this is the final show. This is the end of everything. And you reflect back on the amount of work and the effort that was put into making this a reality. The amount of meeting and the consistency that it took to stay on top of everything. And this is the outcome. 
And that's when I realized when we and Joe argue and Joe argue about the little things, it is because we want this kind of outcome. You know, because where you slack off, it will reveal itself on a show night. And we are fortunate at 6.30 in the morning, we did, everyone was there and the music was there and people was standing. People have been standing for five, six hours and they're there. And you look at the sea of people and you see the venue, what we did to create this Sunfest City and everything. And you just know the magnitude of the work. This is the payoff. That's the, There's no better highlight than that for me. I got one for you, Clyde. I got I got three that are big memories. <laughs> mm -hmm. One was in 2019, and I um I'm at Golden Eye before the show, right? And I uh and I'm talking to Chris Blackwell and a bunch of them there, and and I said, "Are you sure you're going to come this time, Chris?" And he goes, "Yeah, I'm going to come. I'm, I'm I'm I got my plans. I'm coming." And he had the opportunity to ride with somebody in the car. I can't remember who that had an experience as well. But <laughs> it, it was, was no, I, I drove down with Chris that night. It <laughs> was you. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh, Joe, we don't have to cut you off because Lady Size join and we don't have much time. Oh my God, look at <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, me... Marion, we'll, 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 we'll make a few more minutes for her. Okay. Yeah, you know, she's special because it was good. So the place is so full, as you recall, packed from the, the the whole the whole thing was packed body to body, belly to belly, back to back. And I'm walking around, hardly to walk anywhere, and I see Chris Blackwell, and he's and he's just looking at everything, the beauty of the place, and like he's walking on the moon or something. And I and I reach out, I go, Chris. Chris, how you like it? You know, and he just he looks at it and he just waves on it. And, and that but that was a special experience for my kids because you know us driving down with Blackwell and 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 we're having this this nice chat about the history of the music and you know he was in it was in a great mood and we were just chatting and chatting and it it my 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 my, my two kids and well my wife and kids and uh, they 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 were really fascinated with that discussion but uh where is where is minister hall is she is she anywhere around but you know joe well for me you know one of my most memorable yeah it is the virtual one because i was i was deeply involved in that one <laughs> i see you haven't recovered <laughs> i love that one i thought i thought i thought you and scatter and the rest of the guys did a brilliant job there yes that was very special we actually had more people viewing that than the, the 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 year before okay yeah, yeah. That, that 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 was special you know you 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 and i we we, we managed yeah, to, to marion hall is with us is she can you hear can she hear us yeah. bless you i'm i'm, I'm in church and I, I tell you it's a convocation down here at the original pentecostal church the apostolic church that i was baptized at you, so mean, on, when, you, you, you mean on slide pen road Yes, that's where I am right now. My pastor was preaching, Bishop Everton Thomas, the same bishop who baptized me and the same bishop who ordained me as a minister. So I couldn't, when you're in the house of God, you just can't leave. You have to stand up, listen to the message. And the message was powerful. It was from, it was about Samson and Delilah. And the title was, I feel my hair is growing back. And I'm at that place right now where I feel my hair is growing back because everything good has been happening. You know, I've gone through depression, anxiety, and fear, and all kind of things that the devil wanted to use to destroy me, to, you know, disgrace me. God turned it around. So I feel like my hair is growing back. Because if you know about Samson's story, when his hair was growing back, that was when he gained strength, even though he was blind because his eyes were plucked out. So with some fast, you know, I'm ready for next week. <laughs> I'm ready. My hair is growing back. I feel empowered. Everything is happening good. Um, Gwen Stefani, this song with no doubt, it went platinum. And I mean, I'm doing better. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's happy. And 
this out my Bible. Who oh in the church a lady come and say, Oh, there was somebody who say he did a song called this out my Bible. I don't hear it yet, but he make an assumption that I said, Look in Ezekiel chapter three. The Lord told the prophet Ezekiel to eat the whole Bible, eat the whole school, meaning eat the word, consume the word, and bring the word to the people. That's where this out my Bible come from. All right now. <laughs> So let, me, let me ask you, uh, um, people have been yeah. talking about, about grooving in the park in, in New York. Uh, yes. What do we expect from Saw uh, with, in relation <laughs> to grooving in the park? Is is that going to be grooving in the park on steroids, grooving in the park? You won't, you won't, get, you won't get Saw. You will get Minister Marion or all, but... I told people that I'm art, I'm music. I can't, if God give me my talent, I can't bury it. If I bury, yes, if I, Mr. Freighter, if I bury my talent, it's like me telling God I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but you, you, have to, you have to embrace your talent. You're one of the most gifted artists who right. has ever emerged out of Jamaica. Right. I and mean, I as, I, as, I, as, I said, as I said, at, as I said at the earlier part of the show with, uh, yeah. The, the, the fact is, a case could be made that you you, you are arguably the greatest dance hall artist we've ever had. You know, that case yes, could, be, it could be made. People want me to just shut down the gift that God gave me. At first, when I, I got baptized, I thought that was it. You know, just bury the gift. But even in the Bible with the parable that the Lord spoke about with these, when the servant left and he gave the, the, the master left and gave the servant some, one got five talents. And one got two and one got one. The one with the one berry is, but the one with the five got ten more, you know, increase the money, right? And the other one, he increased it also. So for me, I can't help myself. I've been locking up the gift in me for so long to please people. But uh, when I was in England, I remember the Lord told me that I have given you have given me your heart and that is enough. And that was when I realized that I should use this talent for his glory. It may come out as dance all because I'm dance all, I'm rock, I'm pop, I'm r and I'm soul, I'm blues, you know? So I just, I gotta just let it out. So, so first, I have some something for you, know, because oh no, no, you're not here. Grooving the part was just a little, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so just so, that's on. just a prelude. That's just a prelude. And you're coming with how many Bibles again? <laughs> yeah, one thousand Bibles are here, ready to be issued out. And you know, I'm just happy. I am just so in love with the Lord, so in love with God's people, so in love with what God is doing. And I have to say this with no water, and I'm a more Jew. I so appreciate you because a lot of people in there, sometimes the church is the one that locked you out. And God had was to go and get Joe, you know what I'm saying? To do what the church people should be doing. You know what I'm saying? You have people blocking me from the church because, yeah, them say, oh, she wears something that looks kind of God dressing. <laughs> Look at that. God had was to go on the outside. The Lord had told me about a door that he was about to open. He said, I've, he said in his word, because he used his word tw twice, I remember to me. He said, there's an open door that I set before you that no man can shut. But the Lord said to me, before you go through that door, you have to go through some other doors. And those other doors consist of disappointment, setbacks, delay, heartbreak, tears, and all of that, and pain. But he said to me, he said, I should listen to his voice and continue walking. I remember telling the Lord, Lord. I, you, I must have gone through all those doors already based on all that I've gone through, all that the enemy has done to me. God, I know I overcome all those things. I must have gone through. I said, God, who opened this door wider for me? And then, you know, I just prayed and Joe appeared. That's the door. And that door I is leading to Joe other appeared. doors. <laughs> yeah. And you wouldn't believe that it would happen from the outside. You know, ah, Jesus, I have so much to say, but Mr. Mackenzie, I love you. Go ahead and speak. You know, you know, I love you too. I you know. know. You know that always. I know. Thank you. You know, I, I mean, you know, I, I listened to you talking about underneath it all. And I remember that we were working together when, 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 when you did that project. I, that, that's another story, but. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, we did some work together. It's been a long time from shocking vibes days, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but, but we, we remember, we remember, we remember. But you know, you know, it's always love. And I'm looking for, you know, I'm going to be there to see you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. So, I'm just praying for coverage for people of God to cover me, prior warriors to pray, because years ago when I got saved, the Lord sent me to the square of Montego Bay and he gave me a, a prayer with all just the blood of Jesus all over it. And I didn't know how to get there. And God made it possible for me to get there with more than I end up with two sound system right there in the square of Montego Bay. God showed me the place and gave me Ecclesiastes chapter six to go down there. And that was the first time I saw two demons in two women. My first time, so I know where I'm going there, territorial demons, you know, in, all over. Like in every country, every state, there is territorial demons in certain community and parishes. You may not understand that we're wrestling not against flesh and blood, but I know where I'm going. I'm going into a war zone, but I pray that God will equip me, you know, with all I need. Ephesians chapter 6, you know what I'm saying? With whole armor and everything, breastplate of righteousness, I'm a Gideon boot, you know what I'm saying? To step in the next of get the Goliath and also, for, oh, you know, tell me a box down demon and light up, which is a coming true. Hey, hey, yes, sir. Hallelujah, no. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I'm uh, ready, uh, Joe. I'm ready. Uh, uh, we could go on and on, but but, but we're going into Jack, Jack Scorpio's time. But you want to say something, Bless Joe? The Lord. Uh, uh, well, yes, what Joe? I want to say is that Marion is somebody that um, is the best improviser there is. And that's her strengths. Yes. And she works with a band. She works with a band that has to be able to go with that ebb and flow. And when she's, yes. talking, she's talking, she's she's going to be freestyling stuff that we can't even imagine possibly. I not. tell you, I tell you. <laughs> and I think, and I, think, and I really think that she's going to um, please everybody. Everybody, so a, a everybody. Lot, a lot everybody. of people are coming down to see you, Marion. So I know a lot of people told me I'm coming for you. People flying in, lawyers that I never see go to confess calling me, I'm going. People asking me for a ticket, I say, I don't have none. There's a lot of people coming. So <laughs> I just bless Joe. God for everything. scatter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Send us a scatter, <laughs> guy, no scatter now, get it. <laughs> don't bother, don't bother anyway. Catherine, because she has mine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I love you. All right, you. love God you, love you, Marion. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, scatter. Thank you, bye-bye. Beautifully speaking. Thank you, <laughs> Talking about Subfest. We'll yeah. see you in Montego Bay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow.